here. Welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome to the top tier singum. So, as of this year, actually, in terms of majors that we've had, this is Harajun's second tournament. We saw Harajun er late last year at Mistake on the Lake 4 in Cleveland, Ohio, show up, put on a clinic, and ended up taking fifth place. Woo! Top, making top 10, unfortunately due to misplacing his pocket pick. Oh, that's right. It was really unfortunate to see. He was really disappointed. But I told him, I told him and his, you know, the Zippo and Zippo, the Harajun's awesome, amazing support system, the parents that are his biggest cheerleaders, that he should be, he should be proud. Everyone there was afraid of them. Everyone yep. there also was mesmerized by him, putting in the finest of work on the pads. So it was awesome to see him get his run back against Bogo, yep. who he ended up taking fifth place against. He Bogo also, took third place in that tournament, respectively. He also, uh, Harjun also played at Infinity Stage San Jose in 2019. Uh, I believe he took top, what was the bracket cutoff for Infinity Stage? Was it 32? It was 32 or 16. Harjun made it into the bracket. I think that was his first non-local event. So he had entered a handful at Irvine David Busters down in SoCal. Infinity stage, he got out of pools, which was very impressive. Those are some incredibly competitive pools. Uh, I drowned in pools in Infinity stage. I got to the last match. I almost snuck out as the last spot, but then I lost. I got beat by Toxic Fuzz. Ah. Uh, very good player. Very good player. Very fitting. Respect. Shout out to Toxic Fuzz. Can't, can't be mad. Dude's a monster. And now we have Kevin Bodie, one of the greatest players of all time in Dance Dance Revolution, also in the group ITG. Originally from the Cleveland, Ohio area, Ohio DDR legend, playing in Parma at the legendary Aladdin's Class Castle in Parmatown Mall. Rest in peace, Parmatown Mall. Rest in peace, Aladdin's Castle. No longer with us. Now residing in Kentucky, and it's actually really interesting because Kevbo has kind of always been playing, took quite a bit of a break. Um, where he lived, there was no official cabinet. So when round one opened up in Cleveland, we got to see him come out and play a little bit. It was pretty cool. Then the first mistake on the lake just happened to be a couple of months after the first round one opened up in Kentucky. Kevbo ended up getting in top eight in that tournament off of just two months yeah. of coming back to the game. It's absolutely incredible. It's an inspiration to all. I know he helped shape the way he helped shape the way that uh, that a lot of us players who have been around for a long time. We grew up playing with them. He shaped the way that we play this game, and still to this day, a complete monster, a complete force to be reckoned with. So, that being said, chat, we are in the warm-up phase. Are we... Are we... How many warm-ups are we doing? Um, I, think I we're originally thought we were only going to do warm-ups at the very beginning, but... I guess we're going to go ahead and let them get their warm-ups. I we mean, will see. granted, those two have been sitting for quite a while. Um, Harley June sitting first match from the beginning. has been sitting on the side watching it. So we're just going to go. So I, it's not surprising that the T.O. And, you know, the T.O. is the end-all, be-all. We have the decision. We have the rules set in stone. But the T.O.'s decision is always final. So, going to go ahead and give them a warm up. So, chat, this is it. It's coming down to this. There's, there is no day four, there is no Sunday bracket. With this match, one of these players is bowing out of the tournament. 
going home with the seventh place title. A very prestigious title, but seventh place. Nothing to sneeze at, not anyone's goal. But at the same time, the pressure is quite high. Yo, Kemba is clean with it right now. Look at this. Arjun, despite the miss earlier on, his MA is quite on point, actually. This card's really fun. I like this card a lot. DDR, DDR players over the past, I would say, several years remember the struggle of seeing this, seeing this chart on Gold Cav, seeing this chart in Japan, going, wow, this is super cool. Too bad I can't get this in the US quite yet. Yep. So it's really awesome that with the release Ooh. with the upgrade of the cabs. We oh, ended up getting Night of Night CSP and we we're able to play it on stream today. All right, both players catching their breath a little bit. I see RTO looking around. I'm not sure if he wants to. I believe that they want to take another look at the two-player up arrow. So we will so, see. Yep, he, so Fusion letting them know that they are going to do some pad maintenance. Harajin, you know, it's hard to tell. Harajin just locks in so hard that you kind of can't really tell what's going on. But, you know, seem to nod and just kind of go ahead and hard you now talk with, with, with Fusion. Telling him his mods. Um, you, know, you don't need good pads to warm up. As long as the pads function, you still get the same benefit of warm up. Now, there is the mental aspect of getting those pad errors. That is true. But I believe what happened, now I don't know specifically, but as a TO myself, what probably happened was the tech is not available at the moment, so they said, are you cool with just continuing your warm-up uh, while we wait for the tech to arrive, because that way you can still get loose, you can use our time effectively. That was probably what the shrug and nod was from June. Kevin's on the good side, so he doesn't care. And now we get warm-up, number three. All right. So, so far, not to discredit the pad, not to discredit what's going on, but both players sitting on a nice crispy PFC. Harajun with the EX point lead right now. Getting bar crushed once again. Usao slaps. Usao didn't have to go this hard, but he went ahead and did it anyway. To be and fair, Usao has exactly one speed, and it's this. It now, is. sometimes it gets the more, like, kind of epic hard style anthem sound, but it's always that same kick sound. It's always it is. the big Dallas. It is always machine gun. Ooh, here we go, chat. Can we see a warm-up tie? That would be hype. They're I would close. like to see another one. That'd be dope. I think they're within three. I, I keep seeing like a three gap, three or four. <laughs> Captain Carpenter said he has another speed. It's half speed. That's true. It's this speed and then this speed in half time. Chat's spitting right now. Well, they're within one point of each other. Why you gotta do me like that? He got that one perfect right at the end. I was gonna get my warm up tie. 24 flat for June, 23. One that perfect is difference. Gnarly, man. Warm ups, by the way. We're just, we're just chilling. Just, why not? 
Yeah, June was also the double Kaiden on June's profile. Doubles Kaiden, singles That's Kaiden. It. See you next time on the dance floor. The the dude is unstoppable. DDR cabs tremble in fear when Harjun walks up because they know he's coming for everything they've got. Every difficulty, every game mode, every everything. He's going to take what's his. All right, so we have the TO going over to get the card draw going. And I'm sure at that moment we are going to decide what we're going to do about the pads. If we are going to go ahead and do some pad maintenance or if we are going to go ahead and proceed on with this set. At the end of the day, it is always the TO does have the final say, but we also leave the discretion. We also leave it to the discretion of the players. A lot, thankfully, throughout this whole entire tournament, players have been very honest. They have, if it's if it's been a pad miss, they've been saying it. They've been mentioning it. If it has been on them, they almost immediately go, "No, no, that was me. That was yeah. me. No, don't, <laughs> no, just, don't, don't worry about it. That was me. We're all good." Well, the, one of the nice parts kind of about the advent of the modern DDR tournament broadcast and stream setup is mm -hmm. we got cameras and mm. we got mics. So those pad mics, they're not just pretty. They're not just for the wonderful, wonderful ASMR experience of listening to top, top players. Although it is nice. Deliver absolute music with their feet. Mm. We can also hear when they goof up. Yeah. So you can sometimes hear the drag. You can sometimes hear the rush. Um, you can hear it live too, but the pad mics being the stream gets to hear it too. Uh, there were a couple of those during groups where you hear the brat, <laughs> the little <laughs> slam effect where one person gets the great and the other person doesn't. It's like, oh, not pad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Check. Because after all, everyone here is a beast, but we're also human. Very human. The mistakes happen, and this game's hard. This game? This game's hard <laughs> as hell. Turns out, <laughs> who knew that the instructions of the game, the game literally, turns out the game tells you how to play. You see arrows, you step on them when you're supposed to. But turns out it's not that easy. There's so much nuance that goes into stepping the arrows, all the way from being able to read the difficulty and complex patterns of the charts, knowing how to move to them, Ooh. to actual stuff that's constructed to mess with your vision. Guess what, fam? We got us a card, and this is a card. Oh? We have the double override, which loses bracket. Now's the time. Harujun, drop in and give me an expert once again for the override. Kevbo dropping Ace for Aces challenge for his override. The three remaining songs, if it goes 1-1, one, one, which it very well might, because these two players are both monsters on their respective songs. We have The Legend of Max, X Special, Paranoia Survivor Max, Expert, the 15, Jeez. and Paranoia Kitty Cat Mix. <laughs> Which we've been watching the folks rip on the warm ups. We got to see Paul and Hudson rip it. We've got to see, we've got to see dozens of people rip, and we're gonna see potentially, if we get the 1-1, one, one, and they mm. don't veto. But, uh, yeah, and Damien and Ace for Aces, the two nightmare boss songs of DDR Ace. The so. two nastiest pieces of work. So, so, kind of, kind of amazing that we see both players catching in their overrides right now. Because once again, let's emphasize, this is, they're fighting for their tournament life right now. Win or go home? They don't get another chance after this if they lose. So, might as well throw your cards out on the table. Slap down that draw four. And put it all out there to at least try to stay alive a little bit longer and have another shot at making it to the grand finals and taking a home a piece of that $10,000 prize pool. First, uh, it's go time. Let's go, chat. Guys, gals, other pals, 
Hang on to your seats. It's about to get wild. Let's go, potato. I swear that's what that says. Death for the better, by the way, is the actual lyric. In my head cannon, it's let's go, potato, and you can't tell me otherwise. All right, into the speed up. Here we go. The, the speed of this song just... Those patterns aren't particularly hard, but you just have to whip to get your feet across that path. All Big right, runs. at the freeze. Kevbo, 675, Harjun. A little bit behind, but this is Endymion. The lead can change at any time. Kevbo still sitting on the full combo. Harjun broke combo, Ooh. however, is PAing outside of it with a plus seven on the pacemaker from his personal best. Those drills, Kevin gets a lot of grades, but it's still hanging in there. Ooh, both of them picking up a miss. Ooh. Oh, two up for one. All right, let's see where we are. Look out. Dead even. Ooh. Everyone in the, everyone in the audience on their toes, lean forward at the same time. Okay, here we go. End section. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, Juice ripping. Oh my god. Wow! 2,320 EX on Endymion Expert. 81 perfects, four greats, two misses, to 95 perfects, 20 misses, one good, 20 great. seven misses. Both of them less than 100 perfects on Endymion Expert this late in the tournament in the Mile High City. That ending run from June was unbelievable. I know you just saw that. I know you just saw that, right? Un unbelievable. I'm not even going to make the joke because June is 15 years old. Like, we are looking at the future, and the future is really, really, really damn good at Dance Dance Revolution. Absolutely. Busting it down. So next up, we have Ace for Aces Challenge. First time in the tournament we see this chart. This was Kevin Bodie's override. Once again, putting all the cards on the table. Kevin Bodie with a PFC of seven of I'm sorry, 27 on this. Chat's keeping the minus one alive. I love it. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Keep it going, keep it going. Let's, let's see how young June gets before Ace for Aces ends. All right, Kevin Bodie needs Here we go. to win this. And remember, Challenge has different gimmicks from the other difficulties. So you start dead stopped at the front right here. And you're off to the races. Kevin Bodie needs to win this to stay alive and take it to the final song of this match. Right now, Kevin Bodie in the lead by four points, now nine. June picking up a miss. However, plus two on his PB. All right, we're going to slow down. Very, very dense section. Oh, Kevin is, ooh. Kevin's up by 30 and he's not making it any easier. All right, you see the wave section right here. As we see the sudden slowdowns and acceleration, Kevo still sitting on the PFC. Kevin's up by 40. He had this ready. All right, here we go. Speed up. We're going to continue like this 
for almost to the end of the song, chat. Here we go. Slow down. The half speed jump stream. It's just, it's so nasty. It's still really fast, but you have to read it half as fast. It's just me. Good drills to close us home. Close us home. Close us out. Send us home. All right, here we go, chat. Let's see how this goes. Let's Kevin Brody. Let's go. PFC. I just had to restrain myself because I almost dropped another F bomb. But I got that time. Thirty-eight on Ace for Aces challenge. Oh my God, chat. Are you serious? So now we go to the song three. We go to the vetoes. The three songs left on the card was, I believe the first one was Legend of Max X Special, Paranoia Survivor Max Expert, and Paranoia KSTST. One of those three is going to decide who moves on to top six and who goes home at seven and eight. Chat. I'm not even going to tell you to push. I'm not even going to make you make take make you take sides. Chat, I just want you to push buttons. Let me see some W's in the chat. We have some good ass DDR. We have some good ass DDR coming up. This is amazing. We have we have the face of Mount Rushmore of DDR. One of the legends that helped shape this game to someone that we are calling the future of this game. Head to head. I'm just staring at 38 perfect. One person is going to move on. Chat, if you are enjoying this good ass DDR, I want to see you push some, push some buttons. Push some buttons. This, this is going to be big. So we've seen this on the warm up so many times. We've seen players ripping on this so many times. Kevin just got 36 on Ace for Aces. June just got, what did June get on Endymion? Like, where is this? These guys are ready. They're at the top of their game. Oh my gosh. They're warm. They want this. They pulled out their best. Now we have, you know what? This is, I love this as a third song because this is just straight up who is going to execute better. There's not a lot in the way of tricky stuff. There's not a lot in the way of gimmicks. You got a couple of crossovers. You got, a, you got some step jumps that are kind of tricky, but really it's just, it's 190 mm. and you got to go get it. Mm. Absolutely. And we're going to see who gets it right now. All right, Two Chet. minutes until we find out. 762 stream monsters across Twitch and YouTube. Let's do it. Final, potential final song of the set. Let's go. Dude, my heart is pounding. Also, this song is just such a bop. Two point difference at the freeze. Here we go. I didn't want to say anything until the white went away. Kevin has about two, but June's right behind him. Four point difference. Kevin's stretching it by a couple. No, we're back to four. Three. Chat, we are tied. Chat, we are tied. I think Kevin's by one right now. I can't even talk. Oh no! One run to decide it all. 
Wow! Terra June! Eliminating Kevin Brody by three points. Wow. Eight and two. Kevin Brody with 12 perfects and one good. A combined 20 perfects between the two of them. The one good is what oh. decided that match. Well, the good's only three. So that would have it would have been a tie if Kevin didn't get that good. Um, this is, this is nuts. This, this is so impressive. So we, we will see Harujun moving on to top six. Kevin Bodie, unfortunately, ends his tournament run here. Seven, eight, huge round of applause for June. They get the selfie on the results screen. Love to see it. Great, great sportsmanship from Kevin as well. Chat, once again. Yeah, bye. If you enjoyed this good ass DDR, let me get some GGs in the chat. Give it up for your competitors. See you next time on the dance floor. Hada June moving on in the loser side and taking seventh place.